Hey everyone, it's Kate and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to do a nursery tour. I wanted to do this before he was born, but obviously I didn't get around to it. And there was a couple things that we didn't have yet, so we're going to go ahead and do it today. And hope you guys enjoy. Alright, first we're going to start on this side of the room. This is whenever you first walk in the door. And I made this name sign that has his name on it, Colson Stout. Um, I still haven't really decided if I like it or not. I would kind of rather have like one of the wooden signs that's kind of like free, free standing or free floating, whatever it's called, or it's just like the letters on the wall. So maybe eventually that will be swapped out, but for now that's what we have. And then we have just the Ikea crib that is the natural wood color. And then I have some pillows in here, which obviously we take out whenever he naps. And then this sweet bear from Build-A-Bear that his cousin Avery made for him. And a llama from one of the dance girls. And then of course we have our VTech monitor we use for all of his naps and any time that we are just not like right next to him. Alright, and now we move on over into this corner. Um, we have some bookshelves with all the books that we got at our baby shower. And a lot of them have writing in them from like... The people who gave them, gave them the book, maybe. Let me see if I can find an example. Um, yeah, this one. So this is just like an example of one of the books that we have for him. So we have the three bookshelves. And then I have his laundry hamper right here. This is just from Amazon. I can link it below. Which gets full really fast and I wouldn't think that it would. And then this little hanging thing I made with my friend Kara and we made it before he was born. Here we have his dresser. We just put one of the changing mats on top with a black cover that we have to change all the time. And then we have this little basket of just like random diaper things that we need and a cute little fake plant. And then I actually have all of the drawers labeled which I'll show you a little bit closer. In the dresser, this top shelf is for diapers. So we have anything diaper related in here, but actually a lot of the diaper stuff is up here in this basket. We pretty much just have like the diapers themselves. And then I also have the baby nail file in here, which we use a lot. And I have my label maker, which I labeled all of the drawers in here. And as I've changed things out, I've just changed the label. And then in this drawer, we have sleepers, which I'm sure you can see in there. I'll bring you a little closer. Right now we have several because we got a ton for our baby shower. There's like 11 in here and I have some in the washing machine as well. In the next size, I probably won't have that many. And then down here in the bottom, we have socks and mittens, which he doesn't really wear mittens anymore. And then swaddles. And we actually have a play pin netting thing. I don't know why I shoved it in here, but that's where it is. <laughs> and then we have like hats and bibs and swim stuff in this drawer as well. Okay, over on this side, sorry I have to bend down so you can even see me. I have onesies and like little pants and shorts. And these are all like the current sizes that he's in. So we also have his swim trunks in here, which aren't these so cute? These are from Target. They have like matching ones for moms and dads too, but they didn't have our sizes. And then I just fold the onesies to where I can see like um, the colors or what they look like. So it's easy for me to tell. All right, in this drawer, I have blankets and burp cloths. And these are actually like our quilt blankets that have been made for him. All of our like just everyday blankets are in the living room because we use them a lot. But these ones we don't use very much. So they're more of just like keepsake items for him. And then, of course, we have several burp cloths over here. I don't know how well you can even see this one, but this bottom one is just like bedding and other blanket things, mostly bedding. So we have the sheets that were made for us, the white sheets from Ikea. These are bassinet sheets. And we also usually have, yeah, right here, another one of the diaper changing station covers. <laughs> And then moving over into this corner, we have the rocking chair. This is just from Ikea. And then we have some more of the Ikea bookshelves. And actually, these are not uh, bookshelves from Ikea. They're spice racks. I saw that on Pinterest. 
And then this little sign over here I made at a birthday party. And it's just, it says little dude and it has like white speckles all over it. All right, the lighting's not the best over here, but in this corner we have some pictures that I designed. And then this little sign that says, read me a story, tuck me in tight, say a sweet prayer and kiss me goodnight that my grandma got for me. And then this little dinosaur that I got from the thrift store. And this was also from his baby shower. And then we just have an Ikea toy shelf I'll show to you. Right here we have a little play gym that one of my dance students got for him. And then in these shelves we have some different toys. We got this hedgehog that was at the baby shower. And then in this one we have a train set which we know he's not old enough to play with yet but eventually he will be. And we also have my brother that likes to come over and play with all these toys. Then we got some stacking toys and just some other like miscellaneous things. This was a lot of my brother's toys that he has grown out of that we've just kept for Colton as he gets older. And this box over here is the same, full of just like random baby stuff. There's some more stacking toys and some stuffed animals. This one rattles. And then in this one, I just have like extra books and stuff that this was one that the hospital actually gave us, which I thought was really sweet. And just like other random books that won't fit on the bookshelf. I also have these black and white ones. And then on the top shelf here, on this shelf, we just have like random teething toys that people have given us. And we'll keep that for him whenever he starts to get some teeth. Anyway, that's all that we have in this little toy shelf. Eventually it will have different toys, but for now that's what we have. And right here we have the closet. I will open up. It's not the most organized, but it works. So we have a lot of his hanging clothes, like small sizes, three to six months that he's in right now. I guess zero to three and three to six months. And then there's some bigger sizes hanging up back here. And then we also have these tubs for like the next sizes up. So this will be like the next tub of clothes that he'll go into with three to six months and six to nine months. And then down below we have bigger sizes because my little brother is actually four. So we have a lot of his older clothes like 2T and 24 months down there. And then we also have his two bathtubs, um, a baby carrier. This, this up here is just like um, little things that I want to keep to remember. So I have like his hospital pictures and um, like a baby book and stuff like that up here. And then I also have like a little, um, I guess this would be like a high chair, but it you can like take it with you. And it's like a little folding chair for your baby. Someone got it for us for a gift. And then over in the other corner, we just have a whole bunch of diapers. And then on this side, we have some baby wipes and some of his shoes. And then just like a box of miscellaneous stuff in there. And then right here we have his still novel photo. Um, I actually took this photo of him whenever he was like a week old in his crib. And it's one of my favorite pictures of him. You can see like how bright red his hair is. So that was a nice touch to add to his room. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that this rug is from overstock.com. We got a really good deal on it. So I'll try to find the link to it too. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed Colson's nursery tour and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.